Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well and welcome to the VCDL configuration video series part 7. In this video, I will teach you how to add custom campaign statuses. In VCDL, you can tag a call with custom campaign statuses. This report is very useful when you want to generate agent or campaign performance reports. Let's review what was the campaign statuses or call dispositions. If you log into the agent panel and you do a manual call or an automated call, after you have called and you hang up the customer, so I answer the call and I hang up, a disposition page will appear. This page includes campaign statuses. By default, we have system statuses in the call disposition page. So, for example, answering machine, busy, callback, dead air. All of these statuses are the default system statuses. In this video, we want to see how we can change these statuses or how we can add our own customized campaign statuses here. Okay, let's get started and learn how we can add uh, custom campaign statuses or how we can edit the system statuses. First part is adding custom statuses. Select campaigns. Select the campaign that you want to change the statuses or add a status. Select detail view. And then as final step, select statuses. Here you can add custom statuses. Let's add one. For example, I'm creating a test status. I put a description, test status. And the status disposition page uh, can be between one to six characters, but the description can be from two to 30 characters. Set selectable as yes, or it won't show in the disposition page. The agent selectable fields defined whether it shows up in the agent interface as a disposition or not. You can set the human answered field as yes. It is used when we are calculating the drop percentage or abandoned rate. The category options allows you to group several statuses in a category that can be used for a statistical analysis. So let's add this disposition. We have two other options, min sec and max seconds. The min sec and max and fields for each status will determine whether an agent can select that status at the end of their call based upon the length of the call or not. For example, if the call is 10 seconds and the min seconds for the agent is set to 20 seconds, then the agent won't be able to select that statuses. Also, if a call, for example, is 40 seconds and the max seconds for this status is set to 30 seconds, then the agent won't be able to select that status. Let's try it. For example, I set the min seconds as 15. I don't want to select any max second, so I let it be zero. And then I select modify. I go to the agent panel. Keep in mind that you need to log out, log in once if you want the new status to be appeared for the agents. So if you have any agents that are logging, ask them to log out and log in once. So I log into the campaign again. And I do a manual call. And I hang up the call. Because the call was hang up less than 15 seconds, you can see the test statuses is not selectable because we have set the mean seconds. Let's change this to zero. and try again.
Let's log out. Login back. And do a manual call. And let's hang up. Also, it was less than 15 seconds because the option is already set to zero. Now I can select the test statuses. So this is how the min seconds and max second is working. Now let's see how we can change the default system statuses. In order to change the default system statuses, you need to go to the admin panel, select admin, and then select system statuses. Here you can see the default system statuses that we have. If the agent selectable field is set to yes, then it's selectable in the agent panel. If you want to remove or you want to change the name or description of an status, here is how you can do it. For example, I want to disable answering machine status. I just need to select agent selectable as no and then click modify. So if I log out and log in back again, and do a manual call it doesn't matter what number and hang up I won't see answering machine anymore thank you for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this series of videos and I appreciate it if you can subscribe to the channel to be updated about the next videos thank you